Please join me and welcome Senator Tom Cotton, United States Senator of Arkansas. <laughs> Senator Cotton is here tonight to present the Henry M. Scoop Jackson Distinguished Service Award to Secretary of State, the Honorable Michael R. Pompeo. Thank you. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you all very much for the uh, warm welcome. It's great to be back with you tonight to honor my friend, Secretary, our Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo. I, I, want to, uh, I want to thank the Jewish Institute for the National Security of America for more than four decades of support for the Congress and defense professionals as we make critical decisions about our national security. Your export, experts and your scholars develop forward-looking policy recommendations to defend our nation and support allies like Israel, our key partner in the Middle East. For instance, your latest report, Atlas Supported, Strengthening the U.S.-Israel Strategic Cooperation, provides many actionable strategies for Congress and the administration. Just last week, for instance, I met with members of Jensa's U.S.-Israel Security Task Force to discuss the report's proposals and to enhance, to enhance bilateral intelligence sharing and joint research and development programs between Washington and Jerusalem. Jensen's effectiveness in advancing the U.S.-Israel relationship doesn't come without a lot of hard work. To Mike Mikofsky, David Steinman, Joel Gamunder, Fred Zeidman, and so many others among your leadership and your staff, I want to say thank you for all of your labors, for all that you have done to secure America and to strengthen our alliance with Israel. And I especially want to thank all the servicemen and servicewomen being honored here tonight. Without you, even the wisest policy would surely fail. <laughs> Finally, I want to thank and congratulate Secretary Pompeo, who you honor tonight with the Henry M. Scoop Jackson Award. Secretary Pompeo's leadership has demonstrated to Israel and our allies that the United States once again stands with them, that the United States doesn't make idle threats, and that the United States does not appease our enemies. This, this year alone, thanks to Secretary Pompeo, we've withdrawn from the anti-Israel UN Human Rights Council. We've revoked funding from organizations like the UN Relief and Works Agency that enrich corrupt Palestinian leaders while failing the Palestinian people. We passed, we passed and we are implementing the Taylor Force Act to stop subsidizing the Palestinian Authority's payments to the families of terrorists. Last year's, last year's Scoop Jackson Award recipient, Sandra Gerber, who's with, here with us tonight, was instrumental in getting this important legislation through Congress but the Palestinian Authority still hasn't changed its pay for slave laws, so we must remain vigilant and keep the pressure on, as I know Secretary Pompeo will. And finally, at long last, thanks to the President, the American Embassy in Israel is where it belongs, in the eternal capital of the nation of Israel, the city of Jerusalem. Our enemy, the Ayatollahs in Tehran, are on the back foot. Since pres the President and Secretary Pompeo withdrew from the disastrous Iran nuclear deal and reimposed sanctions, the world is realizing that they must choose between America's mighty economy and Iran's pathetic one. And the result, the result, European companies are leaving Iran in droves. And on November 4th, more sanctions will hit Iran's oil sector. And the Ayatollahs know, they know, that under the President and Mike Pompeo's leadership, the United States will no longer turn a blind eye to their wicked ways. This is uh, quite a record, quite a record for just a few months as Secretary of State, an office that has been held by some of the most distinguished statesmen in our history. Names like Jefferson, Madison, Monroe, Adams, Clay, Webster, Marshall, Kin Kissinger. 
I'm confident that future generations will also look kindly on the name Pompeo, even if they can't pronounce it. <laughs> of course, Secretary of State is only the latest accomplishment for Mike Pompeo. He graduated first in his class at West Point. You may have heard a certain president say. He then served with the 2nd Cavalry on the front lines of freedom in Europe at the end of the Cold War. Now, after the Army, it's true, Secretary Pompeo took a wrong turn and became a lawyer. But he turned his life around <laughs> as a successful businessman in his adopted home of Wichita, Kansas, where his fellow Kansans would later elect him to the House of Representatives in repeated landslides. And, of course, he served as our Director of Central Intelligence before being confirmed as the nation's 70th Secretary of State. Nothing, nothing about Secretary Pompeo's meteoric rise surprises me because I've known him for as long as I've been in public life. In 2011, when I was an unknown candidate for the House of Representatives, he called me out of the blue, offering his help and support to a fellow veteran. We became fast friends in Congress, traveling around the world together to represent the United States, and on occasion to discover secret nuclear side deals. In 1982, Jensa honored Scoop Jackson with the first Distinguished Service Award, which now appropriately bears his name. In the years since, you've presented the award to secretaries of defense, generals and admirals, and legislators. Secretary Pompeo, I must observe, is the first Secretary of State to receive this award. I suspect this reflects not a change in Jensa's views, but rather the badly needed change that Mike Pompeo is bringing to American diplomacy. So, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming your Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo.